Boys, thank you very much for joining us. We're here to do our, uh, our wee quiz. Sean, you've picked Decky to be in your team tonight. What's the thought process behind that one? Uh, there was no one else ever arrived at training, to be honest with you. And he was he was only one Best of a bad bunch. Yeah. And Phil Blarry, BJ? See you, uh, Matt. Uh, I picked Phil, to be fair. He's the smartest in the team. He's the smartest in the team. Yeah. Excellent. Brilliant. Right, we're going to start off with the first question then. If you just write down your answers, and we'll just do a question at a time, and we'll see who comes out. I think there's a bit of a forfeit at the end. <sighs> in the tuna pitch, maybe. I don't know, <laughs> don't know what, we're, what we're going to do for that. But the first question is, Crusaders have had a total of eight penalties this year and scored all eight, but who are the three players to have taken them? They can hear you now. <laughs> can they? Yes, don't tell them. Oh, is that who you're on there? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. We'll maybe just continue on with the other questions then, and we'll yeah, okay. yeah, through the answers at the end. So, question number two then. So, there have been a total of 54 yellow cards this year. Daggy Goodell. <laughs> but which player has had the most? And if you can give me the quantity, you'll also get another point for that one. He knows it right away, right at that. I have 15. No so, 54 yellow cards in total, but who, which player has the most? Oh, really? And if you an extra point if you can tell us Ooh. how many that player has. Ooh. Happy enough? That was a game. Uh, so uh, I can't uh, remember any of the suspension. But here, here, what about your mom and my dude? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> could we change it? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with yeah. question three no, while no, Philip Laura is changing that. So is there's this a, also is this including Tuesday night, sorry, um, Yes, oh. it is indeed, yep. It is, yeah. It is indeed, yep. We're up to date, we're up to date from, from now. No. Okay, <laughs> yeah. question three, there will maybe be here all night changing, <laughs> changing answers. So question three, there's also been a total of three red cards this year. Daddy, good day. Can you name the three players who's been given their marching orders? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I forgot about the first one. <laughs> um, I know, I know, I know. I know. So, yeah. yeah, with general knowledge after this round, <laughs> we might have better up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I oh, heard that. yes, well played. I heard that. Well done. Wrong. No okay, <laughs> question, <laughs> question number four. Crusaders have scored one own goal this year. Who scored it? Oh. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank in every question. <laughs> Is the same no, answer for every no, question? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, did that go down as well? Did that go down as well? So, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you're wrong. Okay, <laughs> question number five then. After making 25 starts for the club with eight sub appearances, which player has been substituted the most? I nearly say that word. Which player has been subbed the this most? Season? This season. My league player gives that again. He has played, I'm sorry, he's making 25 starts with eight sub appearances, but has been subbed mm. the most. Uh, actually, I think you're right. Many games have we played about 30, 35. 35. Uh, and how many appearances? 25 starts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 8 sub appearances. Okay, number 6 then. So this one is nice with the company they were in, but it's been well documented that Philip Laurie has played the most games this year, starting 35 games in total. Stevie's son! He has, <laughs> he has been subbed three times in total, adding up to 9 minutes. Okay, so this is a wee bit of a brain tease for you. I've had to make some assumptions along the line, but just to see how the brain's ticking. Okay, so Philip Laurie has played 35 games in total. He's been subbed three times in total, adding up to nine minutes. So how many minutes has Philip Laurie played this year? No calculators allowed. That's why I picked Philip. Good man, BJ. Adam Lackey could have been a better shooter for Sean. Uh, he would know that. I got you. 35 games, was it? Yeah, I thought there was shooting an answer. <laughs> no, 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 no. 35 games, yeah. We've played, Phil. Take away name, yeah. You've been subbed three times. Right total adding up to nine minutes. And I'll explain why I've maybe made some assumptions, sure. but if you just use this, I take it every game's just 90 minutes. That's the assumptions that we're going to make, yep. Okay, question number seven then. Yep. Which player has played the second 
highest number of minutes this season, totaling 2,923 minutes. Jack, are you writing a book? Yeah, <laughs> Autobiography is out next week. Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, last few seconds and we're gonna to have to move on to question eight. Did you boys have to start training? No. Question number eight then. Paul Heatley is top of the goal scoring charts uh -huh. with eleven goals in all competition. But which player leads the way with the most assists? All this season. Do you can you give us how many assists he has? No. I can. Or do you want us to? You must have in detail. Bonus bonus point. Point. <laughs> can we get a bonus point? Can I check? And I don't have it off the top. I, I think I do. I think it may be. What are we doing? I think yeah. it, Come on. I think it may be seven. If it's not go seven, it's nine. It's one of those two numbers. Michael. Okay. No, I don't want to be wrong. Number nine is a way easy one for you both for, for both teams. Which two players this week celebrated one hundred appearances for Crusaders and fifty appearances for that in the chat? No, I literally put that in the chat. Did you? Excellent. <laughs> don't be getting it wrong yet. What, what was sorry, what was it? Shh, shh, shh. Which two players this <laughs> no, which two hates. players this week celebrated one hundred appearances for Crusaders and fifty appearances for the club? Seen that? Good good work, Marshall. I uh, know. Marshall is cursing all questions this evening. Oh, is it? He is. Great man. Sure, Okay, question number 10 then. Excluding the two youth players, Jack Patterson and Andrew Clark, who is the youngest member of the squad? We're all so old. I know we are. <laughs> the young, um, the youngest so player is about 36, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so just excluding the two, Jack, who okay, came on against Warren Point, and Andrew yep. Clark at Glenavon, yeah. who is the youngest yeah. player? Yeah. I'm yes. also going to throw this into the yes. mix. I'll also throw this into the mix. There's more than one player this age. Yeah. So now so it's a couple of months. Yep. No, you've got. Hey, why are you trying to look over? I'm not. Okay, question number 11. Excluding all goalkeepers, Sean, you'll be glad to know. Who's the oldest member of the squad, excluding the goalkeepers? Excluding the goalkeepers? Yep. Yes! Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Pal again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Phil, you're right. Phil, you're right. You're right. He can't, he can't spell. He can't spell. And the last question then for the night, boys. It's excluding goalkeepers. He can't read. Oh, he's doing goalkeepers. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. They're both old, like. Moving on. Move on. Ah, yeah, let's move on. Don't worry about Billy. Question number 12 then. See? With Lauren as the visitors on Saturday, we have already played them four times this year, including once in the County Antrim Shield. Mm -hmm. But what is the total score? If you were to add up all of those games, do you want like how many uh, Lauren scored? Like how many crews scored? Yeah, like an aggregate score. Okay, happy enough. We'll run through the questions here. Ian from Cruise TV is going to take score and see who wins tonight and then we may have just an extra wee round that we're going to throw in for the crack because we've, oh. we've got a few minutes here but okay so number one then who wants to go first and give me the answer who's going first then three penalties. ben kennedy jamie mcgonagall and jordy for safe correct all three yep. all the same. Yeah, yeah, i think we should swap you know yes that's swap and work i've got our quiz show most would know that's what to do okay Second. question number two then 54 yellow cards which player has had the most they went for Paul Heatley. Paul Heatley is correct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's you know how many points he's had? Right it's an extra point. Six? Seven. Seven. What? Jordan for Scythe. They went six. for Jordan for Scythe. Wrong. Jordan for he was suspended first too. Uh -huh. Big Jordan. Good answer, Daggy. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. Well, that's the next question. Five minutes. Help with Jack. So there have been a total of three red cards this year. Can you name the three players with the red cards? Go ahead. Um, we went, or the boys who went BJ, Eddie, and Jordy. Same. Yep. Who are you sorry? BJ, Eddie, Jordy for safe. Eddie Wilson. Correct. Yep. Yes. Is that a point for each one? I forgot about me. Uh, Same for the I first, or do you get a point you. for You're all? You're a thug. Do you need to name all three to get a point, or is it a point, oh, for, point, for, point, point for, for the three. answer? Point for the answer. Uh, so they have three. You just take that. Number four. Yep. Oh, no. 
No, I think these are about the same as well. These are about the same as well. I might have to throw myself in the mix here, but what I'm just re I'm just reading that because you you're right, Ian Wilson did get sent off against Glenavon. And these questions were provided by none other than Marshall Gillespie. Is he wrong? Uh, but I also do believe that Jolly O'Rourke could have been sent off. Ah, after that was after the, the Midfield game. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Did, was that was Marshall. Well, not down Marshall. Well, not down Marshall. Well, not down Marshall. Absolutely not. Did he get sent off? So name the player who scored the only own goal this year. Chris Hegarty. Yes, he is correct. Yep. And number five then, making 25 starts for the club and eight sub appearances for which player was subbed the most. They've went McGogo, Jimmy McGonagall. Incorrect. Oh, no. Adam Lackey. He has joined us, it's Adam Lackey. Yes, please. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I have to fill up Laurie then. How many sucks. minutes? You've been sucked the most because you're shit. How many minutes has filled up Laurie racked up? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need to edit that week right there again. So, Minutes, okay. we went 3,141. Are they did, sorry? We, we, we went to see him. Yeah. Absolutely top notch. Sweet. Great. Great. Absolutely good. Yeah. Good. 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 good That was me. Which player has played the second highest number of minutes this season? Jory for safe. Jory for safe. Yeah. Correct. Yep. And the, so Paul Higley, as I said, was top of the goal scoring charts with 11 goals in all competitions. Yeah. But which player leads the way for assists? They've went McGonagall, McGonagall again. Incorrect. No, we went. Did we not go? No, it's, it's, written, it's written down. Oh, Clark. Clark. Incorrect as well. I actually said Jordan for safe. For safe. Incorrect as no. well. Who is Paul Higley. Paul Higley. Ah. Paul Higley. Ah. Is he leading both? No one can with him though. He's both. That's and the two players that celebrated 100 appearances was... You ja. the wrong one. He's got it wrong. Ross Clark and Ja. Ja was 50. Yes, uh, so Ross Clark is 100 says, and Ja uh, O'Rourke is 50. Rodney, 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 Rodney Clark, 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 Clark. I just wanted to, to be honest with you, I actually just wanted to bring up Rodney <laughs> Brown. <'cause I'm> <laughs> and excluding the two youth players, Jack Patterson and Andrew oh. Clark, who's the youngest member of the squad? Aidan Wilson. Uh, uh, they said Aidan Wilson, we they said... They said Jim Jamie, you must be nearly. Jamie's in the background. You I said Ben. Nearly thirty, Jamie. I said Ben. Who? Incorrect. Daniel Lormer. Ah, ah, Lonsky. Lonsky. Daniel Lormer. Daniel Lormer. Didn't get out of bed this morning. They're half eight or half six. And excluding all Baseball. goalkeepers, excluding all goalkeepers, who is the oldest member of the squad? Paul Haley. Paul Haley is correct. Paul and the last one there with Lauren as the visitor on Saturday. We're looking at the overall score from the four games that we've played in this season. Is thirteen nine to Demons. 13-9. That's what Dagny said. 9-7. And 9-7 is correct. Yes, but when you we get 13-9. Huh? What did you add up? <laughs> what did you add up? So who is the winners then of this? It's Philip Laurie. Comfortable. And BJ Burns. Quite easily. Yeah, I'm worried. Fair enough. So we're going to do, we're going to throw in another wee game in the next before you go here, boys. Just the last two or three that's. questions. Is it over yet? Yeah. It does, it's not over. <laughs> Take your hand away. If we win this, it's one each. That's it, man. You're black. Yes. What's this like? Oh, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Mr. Mrs. Here, Here and that's it. Okay, so what's the score? Sorry, that uh, was Hold on. Whoa, whoa, the one. That's one that one. Come on, man. <laughs> Bring him over to change room afterwards. Who are you talking to? We're from the middle of filming here. Get away. He he is. Four, five. They got six. Huh? Ten, the boys got ten, six. Okay, just so for the next round then, okay. No, so, it's one. So just, no. for, so just for both, so we obviously know how to play Mr. and Mrs. Yep. Yes. So Sean, you're with Declan once again, and BJ is with Philip Laurie. Your first time okay. you've kissed him. He's the so Mrs. Sean O'Neill is going to be the black side of the bat, and Declan is the red. So if we're talking about Declan, it's red. We're talking about Sean, black. And likewise, for BJ, he's both can't be red. So I'm red, he's black. I'm black. Fair enough. Okay. So from both teams then, who is most likely to be the manager? Mm -hmm. I mean, pairs. Do we have matches? to just start with a conversation? Are we, are we, we need to the conversation you had the order in. Oh, it's a pair. I know me. You are the other manager. You didn't have to like Joe Baxter. <laughs> Next question That's back on track. Who is the manager's pet? Oh. The, this year? Another pair. Is it Brett? <laughs> it's an easy one, Sean. That's literally Baxter's his dad. Oh, oh it's an incorrect there from the BJ. He hasn't trained all year. <laughs> we're we're one up. Up. Yes, we're one up. Yes, you're one up on this, on this one. Who is most likely to lose it in the changing room? Oh, uh, the changing room? Oh, the changing room? Yes, yes, black. It's, 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 uh, I'm not sure if you can tell each other, but yes, he asked me what color. He asked me what color. Yeah, yeah, turn up. 
Okay, this will be a nice delicate one for you. So, who is going to be the, the person most likely to moan if left out of the starting 11? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's matches. It's matches. So, we was ready. Sorry. BJ. BJ. I'll moan about that. I'll moan about anything as well. Fair enough. Okay, and the last one, sorry, not the last one. Most likely to call the other person for a heart to heart. Well, he's going to pick up the phone. Declan? He's <laughs> there most of them. <laughs> and it's no fair for these two, both not one no, They're not the same wavelength, you <laughs> Okay, and the last question then. So you get in the other and um, your teammate's car on the way to the match. Who is most likely to be playing Westlife Flying Without Wings? That's <laughs> 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 a pair. <laughs> and another pair of boys. Boys, thank you very much for joining us. Winners tonight is BJ and Philip Laurie. Well done. Well done, boys. Good questions there. Like great, questions. great questions. Great questions. Thank you very much. Paul Healy, thank you very much again for joining us. It's Thursday evening as we prepare for the Lauren game. Big news coming out last night. You're going to be celebrating your testimonial year. Yes, yes. An absolute privilege to be given it. Um, incredibly humbling for my part. And uh, very, very thankful to the whole club, really, for allowing that to happen. And I think Tuesday night, obviously, in the Irish Cup game was just a, another wee reminder as, as to how important you've been for this Crusader side over the past 10 years. I'll leave that for the neutral to decide. I think, um, personally, we just each individually look after what we can do, which is our performances on the pitch, you know, collectively as a team, and, of course, individually. So it's nice over the last few weeks, and particularly probably the last five or six weeks, we've been on a really good run, put in really good performances. So... I think that's just the key thing for, for everyone involved in the club and the players particularly. Hopefully that momentum can carry on. I know we spoke to you after the Glen Avon game, in which we, we celebrated a 6-1 win, and probably the performance was what delighted the fans the most. Obviously since then, the team have found momentum, rhythm, all things good, a couple of clean sheets in the way. What, what's changed within the squad, Paul, or is it just a matter of being not going down? And uh, It's a million-dollar question, if isn't it? If you knew it? that, you would have done it from the first place. Absolutely. It's very, very tough. You know... Look, the tide turns, you know, you go through tough spells, you go through purple patches. Thankfully for us over the last month, the tide really has turned for us. Um, we're putting in fantastic performances, scoring plenty of goals and more importantly, conceding very few. Uh, defensively, we've, we've been absolutely superb. Defenders right across the back five have been magnificent. The two in midfield, tremendous in there, dominating possession, winning second balls and obviously up front we're doing our part to try and score the goals and, and secure the win and it's all come together really well at the moment hopefully we can just keep building on that and uh, let that be a bit of a driving force and a uh, bit of inspiration to carry on another massive game now look forward to on Saturday evening at, at <coughs> half five Paul and I know that these fixture you know the list is now piling up again it's going to be Saturday Tuesday Saturday back next Saturday in the Irish Cup again I guess it's catch 22 because I guess the manager is probably looking at it and trying to rest players in between you, but on the flip side, there's some momentum now within the players. How difficult is that for him? <laughs> Probably just to pick his team and make sure that come, you know, each game that we've got, we've got a good eleven ready to go and, and yeah. win the battle for us. Yeah, it's 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 a challenging one for him, as you say. It's a bit of a catch twenty two. Do you do you try and rest players or do you stick with a team that's got great momentum going on? But the quality and depth, the quality that we have in this team is is ridiculous. So it, it's a good position, a good headache for him. He has brilliant talent that can come off the bench, come into the squad and, and put in a great performance. I'm sure players will get their opportunity with a few knocks and injuries and probably a couple of suspensions not far off. So there's opportunities for players to come in and stake a claim for that starting eleven. And the calibre of talent that we have, it's, uh, it's, it's a potential that we can, we can play with. We can certainly change the team and the gaffer has that choice to make come Saturday. But as you say, the, the fixtures build up very heavily over the next few weeks, especially if you progress through the next round in the Irish Cup, you play on the Tuesday night straight after, so a lot to think about, but luckily as a player we don't have to worry about that and leave that up to the, the coaching staff to deal with. And no better place to start than Seaview on Saturday evening, Paul, against <coughs> Lorne. What have you made of, of Lorne? I know they got a lot of plaudits early on and maybe they'll be disappointed with their last few results more than anything, but how difficult is that game going to be? Oh, it's always difficult. I think um, this season particularly, you look at the, the top six, even the top eight, it's incredibly challenging. Everyone's capable of taking points off just about everyone in this league. And it's been shown right throughout all 12 teams. So, Lauren are, are very well organised, well disciplined, very, very fit team. Had a fantastic start, fantastic first half of the season. And the plaudits have gone to them, rightly so. They've, they've done really well for themselves, having, bear in mind, only come up this year. So, fantastic position to find themselves in. But 
we have to look after ourselves and focus on ourselves. We don't pay too much attention to how other teams are doing. We just focus on how we can uh, we can get round their qualities and, uh, and bring our own quality to the game and, and make sure that we go away with the three points. I'm sure, Paul, on Tuesday night, every household across the country with all the Crusaders fans were going absolutely bonkers. I know I was when that goal went in. What a strike from you on Tuesday night, the, the sealer victory into the next round. Oh, yeah, it's always nice to get the winning goal, but um, as the gaffer pointed out to, uh, today to the players, you know, Ben Kennedy came off the bench and, and made a massive difference for us. You know, he gave us that extra extra level there. Uh, he came on 10 or 15 minutes and really turned our defence. And, of course, he, he played a big part in that goal as well. But, you know... Players won the 14, the three players have come off the bench. Everyone's playing their part and working hard, so it's it's a reward for the team rather than the individual. Paul, thank you very much for joining us. All the very best on Saturday and, and obviously the rest of the season as well. Thanks very much. Thank you.